Hello, welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel. Last episode, we completed the practical exam and realized that I am an idiot when it comes to recording because um, I missed, the, I didn't record the video for all of the uh, free day, but didn't really matter in the scheme of the story. But anyway, uh, we just confronted class one. Well, they class one confronted us about us beating them on the midterms and they fought us and we beat them pretty handedly. And um, then they started spewing bile about being nobles and how their gener like their lineage is so important and guys just kind of sat them down for being imbeciles. And now um, we finish up the practical exam and I think we're going to get our field study to uh, tasks and where we're going. Next, I'll be giving you the locations for your next field study. Oh, yes, it had almost slipped my mind. Where to this month? Everyone, take one of these. I know, I think Laura and Fee are going to be in our group. Hmm. No, really? They're in the other group. Elisa, Emma, Eustace, Gaius. Rionia Island. That's in the far west of the Empire, isn't it? Indeed. It's an island off the coast of La Mer province, known for its ruins. However... The North Highlands are beyond the Empire's northeastern borders, are they not? That's right. They're out past Ruhr on the other side of the border. Since the Age of Antiquity, the Highlands have been home to a tribe of nomads. Yeah, now that you mention it. You're from the Nord Highlands, aren't you, Gaius? I sure am. We've actually made arrangements for everyone in Group A to stay at my home in our settlement. I hope you'll all enjoy yourselves. Oh, so he knew about this. Maybe he was able to choose who he wanted with him. <laughs> Your rank's gone up. Here's a little something from the academy. Metal discipline. Very nice. And we're close to gaining rank um, B2. Thank you for everything. Ooh, excuse me. And here's the field study. Still, I couldn't believe it when I saw Nord Highlands written right next to our names. I wasn't ever expecting our field studies to take us that far out. Well, it does make sense, since it's an important place in the history of the Academy's founder, Emperor Dracos. Indeed, the Highlands are where he first began to solidify his military power during the War of the Lions. That's about the extent of my knowledge of the Highlands, to be honest. No worries. I'll tell you more about Nord on the way there. Anyway... I hope you're all ready for a long trip. The train ride between here and there is over eight hours. Eight hours? That's almost an entire day's journey. It sounds as though the experience will be more than worth the trouble, though. By the time we get there, it'll probably be evening already. You think we should go stock up on some snacks before we leave? <laughs> There'll be no need for that, Lady Elisa. Oh, she gave us a little picnic basket. Mm. Good morning, Sharon. We're almost ready to head out to the station. Oh, of course, of course. I hope you all have a safe journey. I would also be very pleased if you would accept this. What is it? I took the liberty of preparing some sandwiches for all of you, as well as a pot of lemon tea for each group. I'm afraid I wasn't able to fix a proper breakfast, so I hope you'll enjoy these on the train instead. <laughs> Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Such a thoughtful caretaker. We'd be more than happy to accept them. Nothing of it. Any good maid would do as much. Well, well, everyone sure loves you, don't they? I guess my objecting to you being here just made you work that much harder to cozy up to everyone else. <laughs> I would never dream of such a thing. Please have a safe and pleasant journey, my lady. I'll be counting the hours until your return. Fine, fine, I'm leaving. Hold on. You aren't plotting anything else, are you? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Yeah, if you say so. All right, we're leaving for real this time. 
Have a safe journey. <laughs> Please excuse us. The dormitory's in your hands while we're away. We get back and the place is just destroyed. Oh? Uh, looks like Group A just took off then. Good morning, Lady Sarah. Would it have been too much to see them off if you were awake this whole time? Their field study begins the moment they wake up on the day of their departure. So since I'm responsible for grading their performance, I figured it was best to leave them to their own devices. I see. You make a valid point. Just one question for you. When will you be returning? Ah, you truly are perceptive, Lady Sarah. I suppose there is no reason not to tell you. I will be returning before my lady and her classmates do. That's as much as I can tell you. I see. All rare quartz and accessories have been unequipped from the other group members. Okay. Okay, let's uh, look at our notes here. Let's look at some recipes. And make a shit ton of these. <laughs> I'll do what I can. It looks great if I do say so myself. Mm, that came out well. Here we go. All right. Let's look over here. Uh, actually, let's exchange. Shop, change. One, two, three. Wait, can we fish as well? I'm gonna just check to see if we can. Because if we can, I'm gonna do that. And I'll do that. Um, I'll do a little jump cut for that. Oh no, we can't. Interesting. Let me check the other place. Like what well, we can if I use ground bait, but I don't want to have. I don't want to use ground bait if I don't have to. So let's check over there. Interesting. Okay, little cross team. Okay, we're gonna head over to the station. I'm so happy they introduced this turbo mode. It's definitely gonna speed everything up. I don't know if it was introduced or if it's always been in this game. But it's nice nonetheless. Oh wait, one last thing. I'm sorry, uh, I'm gonna check the bookstore. Just wanna make sure we got everything. Okay, now we're good. Yeah. And there's the other group. Well, three of them. Oh, Reen. You're ready to depart too, I see. Yeah, we were about to leave. Um, where's she? Oh, there they are. There she is. Hmm? Don't you still need to purchase your tickets? Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Looks like we'll be traveling together as far as Heimdall this time. Very well, let's stop dowing and buy them already. Good morning, Class 7. I hear Group A is heading all the way out to the Nord Highlands this month. You heard right. We'll need to change trains twice first in Heimdall then in Ruhr, right? Correct. From Ruhr you'll need to transfer to a freight line for the last leg of your journey. Regrettably we can't handle that part of your trip here. Actually it seems arrangements have already been made for that segment. You should only head, need to buy tickets for, for as far as Ruhr. Ah uh, that won't be a problem then. Do you want them right now? Certainly. Okay. That's five passengers bound for Ruhr. I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. Let me walk on through. I hope we can play Blade against all of them. That'd be cool. Passenger service bound for Heimdall. Now arriving on platform two. We ask all passengers wishing to board, please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. I'd say we timed that pretty well. Impeccable timing. 
true. Mm-hmm. Seems there's a two-woman cold front blowing your way. Well, don't worry about us. We'll see what we can do to that fell them out. Yeah, just don't expect them to be weaving each other flower crowns when we get back, okay? Alright, we'll leave them to you then. Good luck. Everyone pile in. Oh, wow, these sandwiches really hit the spot. Ham, lettuce, and cheese. And I'm getting a hint of pickle in there, too. The ingredients are simple enough, but the way they come together is something special. Even the butter tastes different from what I'm used to. And this tea is equally perfect. The zest of the lemon complements the taste perfectly. You're quite the maid looking after you. Well, Mother hired her, not me. She's a talented maid, though. I won't deny that. She handles the typical ho housework and great greeting guests, as you'd expect. She also manages Mother's schedule. Wow. Managing the company chairman's schedule doesn't really sound like part of the typical maid's job description. She really is that talented, though, which is why I can't work out why my mother sent her to look after me. Those two are up to something. I just know it. Regardless, there are definitely perks to having her around. I think you should accept your mother's kindness. I agree. She must have started working before sunrise to prepare all of this for us. I know, I know. Anyway, look at those two. Are they glaring at each other? They are, so we're headed to Bronia Island this time. All I know about it is that it hosts some sort of ancient ruins. I'm not certain what to expect. Come to think of it, this will be the first time I've had a chance to see the ocean. What about you two? Now that you mention it, I've never seen it either. I have. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. During a landing operation, the core. Uh, oh, speaking of ruins... But Graham has some fairly well-known ruins, doesn't it, Lara? Oh yeah, the Saint's Castle or something like that. You must be referring to Lohengrin Castle. It's a magnificent stronghold that faces out onto the lake. You can see it from the town itself. It's quite beautiful on the days when that mist clears. Oh wow. Sounds like a sight worth seeing. Hmm. Seems like you'd be in trouble if a skilled sniper set himself up there. Why? He's just trying to poke at her. Doesn't sound like they're getting along very well. I feared as much. I doubt Fee is, is doing it on purpose. Ara seems uncharacteristically offended by it too. Yeah, she's usually so composed, but something about Fee seems to get under her skin. It's because she's a Jaeger. She probably lost someone to a Jaeger Corps. Probably the Red Constellation or whatever they're called. Um, in the free day, we talked to someone that talked about the, con the, uh, the Jaeger Corps, the Red Constellation. It was micked from the pawn, sh the pawn shop, and Fee goes there to get explosives, supposedly. There's Heimdall. Never ceases to amaze me, amaze me just how big Heimdall Station is. I've heard it said that it's not merely the largest station in Erebonia, but on the entire continent. I'm unaware of another station that can match the ten tracks found here. When I first transferred lines here on the way to Trista, the amount of people I saw really threw me for a loop. But it's not surprising that there aren't as many folks around this early in the morning. Sorry, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Hang on, you can't give up already. How hopeless. Well, don't worry about it too much. The most important thing is that we all come back safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. I, I suppose you're right. We'll try and keep things from getting too dangerous, at least. Fee and Laura are kind of probably even rematched. Fee with her uh, combat experience and Laura with just her technique. Anyway, this is where we split up. If you're traveling towards Ordis, you'll be heading west, right? Indeed, meanwhile, Group A will need to travel northeast to Ruer first. I'm so jealous that you get to visit Gaius' homeland. You better tell us all about it when, we, when you get back. Will do. Take care, everyone. Fee, Lara, you both take care, too. Well, see you all next week. Quite. Mm-hmm. 
I just noticed she always goes to Parade Rest, which is... Like, I went to a military academy, as I've mentioned in this series before. Um, at, it's just a military position. And I see that V always goes to it. So she is military trained. I should have noticed that sooner. Is something on your mind, Elise? Has some rugged, handsome young man caught your eye? Like your brother, perhaps? Please, your highness. Hmm, I just thought I saw someone I recognized. But it couldn't possibly have been him. I can't imagine what would bring him to the capital this early in the morning. Someone you recognized? Hmm. Her brother. <laughs> but I knew you wouldn't deny it. That your brother is handsome, I mean. <laughs> Please. <sighs> I knew that I shouldn't have told you about him. Oh, come now. I'm only teasing. There's no need to solve. Oh, wait. This is this is Reen's sister. I'll give you a little something from Mariage Cross to make up for it. But that's an adult lingerie brand. <laughs> Please excuse us, Captain Claire. I'm sorry. I hope I haven't sullied your ears with our scandalous conversation. <laughs> Not at all, Your Highness. I came to inform you that the special train to the Imperial Villa will be arriving shortly. I look forward to accompanying you today. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure to have you with us. Certainly. I was thinking at first that she looks more like Machias, but then she said Elise, and I remember that's Reen's um, little sister. So she's accompanying the hind the the princess. Interesting. Speed this up. Alright, let me tell you a bit about a bit more about the North Highlands. The North Highlands are a mountainous region to the northeast of Erebonia. To get there, we'll need to cross the Isengard Range. That's the mountain range to the north of Ruwer. I'm guessing we'll need to pass through quite a few tunnels to get to the other side. Pretty much. I went through several when I was originally traveling to Trista. Anyway, when you reach the other side, you'll be in the Nord Highlands, surrounded on every side by mountains. Other than the Imperial Army bases, the only place you'll find people is in nomadic settlements like the one I'm from. If anything, we have more sheep than people. Wow, really? I'm starting to feel like we're traveling to a country locked in time or something. Sounds like a scene right out of a picture book. In addition to the scenery, the Nord Highlands are also well known for their breeding and raising of horses. Most of the war horses used by the Imperial Army are descended from Highland stock. That's true. Horses are essential to the livelihood to the folks in my village. Raising horses to be used by the Arabonians is one of my people's primary source of in sources of income. Come to think of it, I seem to remember hearing that the horse we have at home was raised in Nord too. Is that also true the hor horses the riding club uses? Correct. All of them originally came from Nord. Even the golden stallion on the Empire's emblem is said to depict the war horse raised in the Highlands. Or so the story goes, at least. Nord has deep historical ties to the Empire. We know today that it's where Emperor Dracul's first started building his army, after all. That's right. The Imperial Army still maintains a base on the southern edge of the Highlands, Zender Gate. That's as far north as the trains can take us. I see. We should arrive there somewhere around 4 in the afternoon, then. Yeah, but it's just past 8 a.m. now. We should reach Ruhr Station by midday. After that, we have another four hours or so... Uh, uh, or so hours on the freight train to Nord. Looks like we're in it for the long haul. So we won't get chances like this often, so let's try and make the most of it. Um, let's talk to Elisa. Not too much longer now. Guess this will be your first time back home since you started at Thor's, right? Does it feel a little awkward going back after you, you ran away from home? A little, yeah. At least we're only changing trains there, so I don't have to leave the station. I haven't been in Ruhr since I switched lines there on the way to Trista. Alright, I almost forgot. If you came from Ymir, you have to have gone through the Ruhr. I visited Ymir once when I was a kid, but I haven't been there since. I remember, I remember it being a really nice place, though. The scenery was so beautiful. Oh, didn't know you'd actually been. Yeah, it really is beautiful. Place that nice doesn't really fit a guy like me. Are you still sulking over what that twit said during our last practical exam? 
Pay the house of he arms middle mine, and their fool of a third son even less. I don't think he meant most of those awful things he said. Yeah, it seemed like his anger just got the better of him. I'll bet he regretted it later. And regardless of what he thinks, we all think you're a swell guy, as a classmate, and as a friend. So don't be so hard on yourself. I... Thanks, guys. It means a lot to hear you say that. You're so hopeless sometimes, Reen. Okay, let's play Iron Blade. Let's get started. Come on, draw a card. After you, then. Yikes! Do I just... Oh, I need. To... What? You can't do that. I just did it. Bolt. Try that one again. Let's get started. Go on, draw a card. Looks like I'm going first. Bolt. Hmm. I just did it. Oh, same score. We better draw again. Wow, this is gonna be literally a 50-50. Like yep, I One won. More game. Okay, let's talk to Emma. It's easy to forget, it, but in traveling to the North Highlands, we'll actually be leaving the country. It feels strange heading out beyond our borders. A little emotional, even. Yeah, we got a long journey ahead of us. I can only wonder what kind of things they'll have us doing when we get there. Can't even begin to imagine. Each month seems to throw something new at us. I am a little worried about how Fee is holding up, though. Yeah, there's definitely something going on between her and Lara. But I'm not sure there's anything we can do about that. I'm sure Elia and Machias will keep an eye on those two for us. We've got our own battles to face. I'd like us all to come back from this trip in one piece. You're right, of course. Okay, let's play Emma. <laughs> Please go easy on me. She was like amazing at it last time we played. So maybe I'm a little intimidated. Shall we draw then? Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. Um. Oh, we have the same score. I probably let's shouldn't have done again. that. Oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. Allow me to play first then. I'm going to use a bolt card. She's a bolt there. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. Allow me to play first then. Oh no, you beat me. Oh, she only had twos. Interesting. Talk to Eusis. The horses of the North Highlands are known for being some of the finest on the continent. With their solid builds, high endurance, and steadfast loyalty to their masters, they truly are the ideal steeds. The Highlands are far from the only place that raises horses. The horses from the Nord, from Nord are in a class all of their own. 
Sounds like you couldn't find a better horse if you searched across the Empire. Though now I can see why Arthur is such an impressive specimen. Who? Oh, Arthur's the horse we have back at home. My dad would often ride him out hunting with our old dog, Badu, I think, or Baydix. Back when I was a kid, he'd lift me up on his back and let me ride around. I see. This will be an excellent opportunity to learn more about how the Empire's finest horses are raised right at the source. Well, he seems really, seems like he's really into this. Okay, let's play him in Blade. If we have to. Draw a card. We have the same score. Let's redraw. <laughs> Go ahead then. We have the same score. Let's redraw. Hmm. I'll be going first. Take this. Hmm. Okay. Take this. How about this? <laughs> now you've done it. There we go. At least it wasn't a complete waste of time. Now, guys. Well, here's a sight for sore eyes. Haven't soaked in scenery like this since I first came to Trista. I hope everyone in the settlement is doing well. He seems happy to be headed home. I've always been curious. How do you end up coming to Thor's anyway? Well, about a year ago, I met a general in the Imperial Army up in Nord. One thing led to another, and he ended up giving me a recommendation to attend the Academy. He was strangely adamant that my skill with a spear would come in handy during my time at Thor's. Guess he was right. I can see why an Imperial General might take interest in your spearmanship. Our cavalry's lance and spear training has its origins not just in the tales of the Eisenreiter, but in the traditions of the Highlands as well. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Just recently that I've been learning how far back the connection between Nord and Erebonia goes. Indeed. Okay, let's play Guys and Blade. Shall we begin? Go ahead and draw. I'll go first then. I'll use a bolt. Mm, let's use this. I'll use a bolt. Mm, let's go with this. I hate to do this, but... Huh. Well played. I hate to do this, but... Played. I lost, but I had a lot of fun. Oh, nice. Almost level two with him. All right. So we're going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.